Bring in meteorologist Nick Marianos. Of course, he was the first to alert us about all of these winds shifting out there, causing these big flare ups. Oh, what's the very latest that you're seeing? Uh, right now, the winds out of the southwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. But what we're seeing, I just want to go over a few things that we're seeing on radar. On a meteorological pers perspective, this is really what uh, the firefighters are dealing with these fires that are especially in the lower elevations and, and some of these valleys that we're seeing them uh, with the southwest breeze. It's not only working the fire going uphill, but also upwind. And this is really going to help enhance that forward motion is what we're seeing. So a lot of times you can see the smoke plumes with these fires popping up on live radar. So this is, of course, not rain. This is the smoke associated with the mosquito fire. This is the one we've been most worried about into uh, on the western edge of the mosquito fire uh, toward Forest Hill. We started seeing the fire start in some of the canyons and then work its way upstream. Again, a big operation right now, defensive operation on Forest Hill Road, uh, trying to stop it from crossing over the road. All that smoke continues pushing off toward the northeast on the eastern side of the mosquito fire. That's some steep terrain right there, but not as much of a population uh, that the uh, fire is continuing to expand. Again, you can see the breeze right now, Fairfield, 25 miles per hour, but we have about a 10 mile per hour, 15 mile per hour breeze into the foothills is taking that smoke and pushing it off toward the northeast. So you can really see the flare ups here coming up on, on the uh, on satellite from the mosquito fire. Again, this is the burn area. Most of the fires on the eastern flank right now, but the most recent flare up is is on the western side too. Uh, but either way, we look at the wind streams, kind of seeing how they go up from the southwest, southerly, back up toward the northeast, is taking that smoke with it and it's really improving visibility into the valley. That will be the same case again tomorrow, keeping our temperatures cool, but certainly not helping firefight efforts as we continue to see the, uh, the growth of the mosquito fire this afternoon. Tony? Yeah, those winds can really rewrite the script on how a fire behaves. Nick, sure thanks can. for tracking it.